Hey guys, Brit Queen here with another Lego Hobbit set to review for you guys. And as you may have noticed already, these new sets are based on The Desolation of Smog, the upcoming movie, which I'm pretty excited about. This one is set number 79014. It's the biggest one of uh, this series for uh, The Desolation of Smog, that is. And this one is called Dol Gurdur Battle. It has 797 pieces, and the set costs about $70. Let's go ahead and take a look at your minifigures. These are the minifigures that come in this set. And we'll go ahead and take a look at your wizards first. Start on that end. So first we have Gandalf the Grey. And he comes with his sword and also his staff. He does have a double-sided face, which we will look at. So that's his second face there. And then next, we have a new figure, which I think is pretty awesome. We have Radagast, the brown. And what's kind of interesting about him is his hat and his hair, or beard rather, it's all one piece. Um, the little feather you can take out like that, it just kind of sticks in right there. But I think that's really cool, the, the feather, I mean the, the hat and the hair is all one piece. It kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. I think it's really cool. I think they did a great job on it. And you can see here's the figure. And he's also got back printing. There's his second face you can see. So that is Radagast. Next we have a figure that a lot of you have been seeing for quite a while and wondering about. We have Azog, which is really cool actually. I'm, I'm glad we got him. Um, and a lot of you have been wondering about uh, the San Diego Comic Con Azog. And I never got that one in Comic Con. Um, people were selling it for just uh, crazy amounts of money, well over a thousand dollars. It is insane to think to pay that for a minifigure. Um, but what I have read on the internet and what I understand is this is the exact same figure. They're actually now calling the San Diego Comic Con one just simply an early release of this figure. So, I mean, it's kind of nice that we didn't miss it. However, I kind of feel sorry for the people who have been paying, you know, those crazy amounts of money for the San Diego Comic Con one when now we can get it in this set. I feel bad for them, but, you know, it was their choice to spend that much, I guess. Anyway, this is the back side. And I guess I can show you what it looks like if you take this whole headpiece off. You can see how he's got the extra muscle added with that. Not really anything extra on the back, just the bottom part there. And look at this arm of his hand. I think Lego did a good job. It looks really cool. <laughs> so, anyway, that is Azog, the figure that uh, used to be worth, what, $1,500 or so? <laughs> Then you have two orcs. Here's the first one. And there's the back. And then the second orc right here has armor with him. I really like these these armor pieces. Uh, the shoulder uh, pads there. I think they're really cool. I'd like to put those on another figure actually. And then last but not least we have our Necromancer. Just kind of a creepy looking figure in a way. 
no back printing whatsoever but those are all of your minifigures so here is the set in its entirety and it's a little bit hard to show because there is a lot to it but I'm gonna do my best to show everything guys kinda give you a little bit of an overview first this is the back part of it and you can see where these are there's bins right here and you can actually move it but I will show you everything I can let's go ahead and start from the front again shall we so first over here we have this statue right here and it looks very unassuming it's just kind of a statue you'd think it's just for decoration but actually it opens up underneath and we have the ring in here and it just you know sets right in there in this little hidden compartment and I think the statue looks pretty cool too and the statue has back printing so it's kind of basically a minifigure without a face but I think it's cool nonetheless and you do have a brick separator in this set and over here we have a little catapult obviously you can move it wherever you want and you just hit it like that to fling the catapult. You do have two pieces to use in that. And up here in the top part that you can't really see at the moment, you can take this out. That whole piece comes out like this. And while it's up top, you've got this piece here. You can pull this out to let this down. And drop the cage and it just goes right in there to hold it up and at the moment we just have a skeleton in here and it opens up like this from the front and then you can replace the skeleton with a minifigure if you want to but this is just a nice little rocky piece and it just attaches right in here and I'll show you that in a moment I'll have to uh, move the camera for that so I'm going to show you everything I can without moving the camera first um, so I've just got the minifigures kind of set out right now and I'm actually going to move a couple of them to make this a little easier because if I start moving the set they're going to fall down anyway So. We'll start from this end. We have Radagast down here coming through the gate. And up here above him you can see this skull sitting here. And we turn this. This piece right here you can turn and drop the skull. And that one's somewhere on the floor now. But you do have an extra one right up here that you can set in there. And you can do that as many times as you want. Um, you know, you have the dropping skulls, so it's kind of neat. Um, and it actually shows on the box to drop the skull um, right on top of Radagast. So, you know, it's, it's cool. I like uh, the details on this set. Um, it's mostly just kind of rock formations, but I like, I actually like the stickers on this one. It adds a lot to it. I think it would be very, very dull uh, without having the stickers because it's all just... It's pretty much all gray, uh, for the most part at least. And if anyone's wondering, this was not too bad of a build. Um, it takes a little while, but it's not a hard build. So just maybe a little time consuming. You do have stairs on the front here, where I've got these two figures at. And I'll go ahead and set them out of the way. And the stairs just attach onto the side in one little spot. You can see that. I'm breaking the set trying to move it, but there we go. You can see that one little spot down there. That's where the stairs attach. And it's pretty much the same on the other side for the stairs. You just attach them in like that. 
and you can also see, well, let me move the camera and then you can see, uh, there are several different uh, parts to it. You've got the part right there, and then also over here. So it's kind of three sections, and then the tower section um, also attaches onto the side. I'm trying to get hair off of my set, my cat is near the set again. Um, also down here, you've got this wall that turns to reveal the necromancer. And that is one big sticker on that, by the way, if anybody's wondering. So, and you just turn this piece right here to do that. And I think there's really more to this on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and spin it. And so right back here, well, first you've got the inside right up here. You've got an extra sword in there. There's your little barrel. And there's also a, another sticker piece. I might have trouble getting this out because it's just one little piece. There's a little sticker piece there. Just kind of a skeleton piece. It just sits right up in here. Like that. And when you move this, you can see the sword inside. And we can move the spider web. You can really see it there. And again, there's that wall from the back. And here's the gate that Radagast was going through there. You know, you know how gate doors work. That's really simple. But... I think this is a pretty cool set, all in all. But now, let me uh, move the camera so you can see from the top part. So this is the last little bit that I wanted to show you guys. Just what uh, it looks like up here, because it was hard for me to show this part. So this is the section that comes out, and that's what it attaches to. So that's everything now. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to each of my channels if you haven't already. Thanks, guys.